In this video, I'm showing you how to use Wallpaper Engine. If you're new, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And please do make sure you watch this video right until the end, so the four steps. And without any further ado, let's go and jump into this. As you can see, currently I've just got the plain default Windows background. So let's go and customize this using the awesome program, the Wallpaper Engine. So what we want to do is download Steam. You go and get Wallpaper Engine off of Steam. Then once you're on Steam, go and click on Library, and then you want to come and search for it just by typing Wallpaper Engine, just like so. And as you can see, for me, it's $2.99. Um, I've already bought this, but it's about £2.99, which is around $5, and it will vary a little bit in each place. But what you want to do is go and purchase it and go and download it, and then it's going to go and be in your library, and you may have to make sure games and software are selected, and there we go. So once you're ready, all you want to do is go and launch Wallpaper Engine from within Steam by clicking on the play button, or from your desktop, just like so. Then double click on it just like this and it's going to go and say preparing to launch and here we go it's going to go and launch it and you can also go and launch by coming to the bottom right of your computer and going and clicking on the show hidden icons button then right clicking on it on this logo which is sort of like a screen and then go and click change wallpaper and it's going to go and launch it up this way as well so we just loaded it up now and as you can see you can go and choose our displays so currently i've got a wallpaper per display but you can also just go and have it on a clone single wallpaper so it's going to depending on what look you'd like so if you want them both the same then have it on clone i'm gonna have that for now but you can go and choose that later as well and then once you're happy with these settings simply go and press on the up arrow like that and at the minute i'm in the installed section of wallpaper engine and this is going to be where you're by default and all of these come automatically with wallpaper engine i'm going to go and choose one of these wallpapers which are currently installed and then i'll show you how you can go and get more so i'm going to go and start with this fantastic car so i'm going to click here and then on the right hand side it can then go and give us these options here where we can go and change the speed the playback rate and the colors and stuff like that so it's fully customizable including the background color as well and once you're happy with it you go and press ok and then it's going to go and minimize wallpaper engine in the background of windows and then here we go if you want to go and make further changes and go and click on the upwards arrow to go and show the hidden icons right click and go and click on change wallpaper and here we go we can then go and add more so once again you just need to go and press this upwards arrow to get rid of choose display and now let's go and check out more wallpapers so all we want to do is go and click on discover up at the top and here we go so then if we go and scroll down we can go and see other awesome wallpapers we've got razor and we've got all-time classics as well and as you can see there are so many to go and choose from we've got razor stuff we've got all-time classics popular wallpapers and you can also go and search for certain things as well so i can go and click on search and it's going to take us to the workshop and i can go and search something like retro then it's going to go and load a ton of awesome retro wallpapers so go and click on it and then you need to go and click on subscribe just like so and then once it is it's going to go and do a steam download as you can see it's about 77 megabytes and then once it has it's going to automatically go and set as your background and once again you can go and press ok or you just move it and you can go and see how awesome this looks and you can go and change the properties as well for example the playback rate and also the position as well um, and you can flip it and change the color as well there are so many different options and now I want to go and show you how you can go and change the settings of Wallpaper Engine. So all you want to do is locate the settings button, which is in the same place no matter what section you're in. So go and click on settings, and it's going to take a moment to load, and here we go. So here we've got playback, and then we've got quality. So as you can see, this is going to be pretty much fully up to you, but the quality ones are really important. So if you're experiencing any lag with Wallpaper Engine and while trying to use games, or it's just slowing down your computer, then definitely go and set it to low, just like this. Um, and then that's going to really, really reduce processing power it's taking up. But to the opposite of that, if you have a really powerful PC, then you can go and change it to Ultra, just like this. Um, and you can go and increase the FPS as well to 60, for example, then go and press OK. And then you're going to go and get a much smoother effect as well and it's going to be higher quality so it's all going to depend on what look you want and how much processing power you want as well um, but personally i'm just going to have mine on medium as well simply because you know it's still going to have the cool effect and i'm not going to be looking at the background that much and then we've also got the general settings as well so go and click on general and here we've got a ton more useful settings as well so this background's going to automatically be running as soon as you start your computer otherwise it's going to be your default windows one and then we've got a few more down here as well um, like the windows settings with overriding features and we've also got the theme as well you can have um, different themes and then we've got some options further down as well which you probably won't find that useful if you want to go and turn wallpaper engine off you can go and close it just like so and as you can see we still have the background then all you need to do is simply go and click up on show hidden icons and then right click on it and go and click on quit 
just like so. And as you can see, we're back to our default Windows background. And you then have to go and restart Wallpaper Engine to go and have your background again. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.